heading late. What a washout. I don't think they've played yet against Northampton. No, no. What's happening? I don't it's think they will this miserable. afternoon. It's not pleasant at all. Better conditions uh, tomorrow, thankfully, because uh, the rest of this afternoon, uh, more of the same, I'm afraid. It'll be cool and cloudy, and there will be further outbreaks of rain. But good news for the first day of the Ebor Festival. Tomorrow does look pleasant, dry and bright, with some sunshine, although it may well cloud over again later in the day. So out there at the moment, a lot of cloud. It is making things feel quite chilly out there. We've got outbreaks of rain which will continue to edge further westward. So all of us will have some damp weather this afternoon. And it really will suppress the temperatures near the coast around 14 or 15 degrees. Pull further west where we've had the driest conditions, the longest, 17 at best, which is 63 Fahrenheit. So into this evening, we will begin to see a bit of an improvement. The rain will begin to ease through this evening, and overnight it should largely die away, but leave behind a lot of cloud. And temperatures overnight, because of all that cloud, not dropping too low, down to around 13 or 14 degrees. 13 is 55 Fahrenheit. So a bit of a cloudy start to the day tomorrow, but it should brighten up quite nicely. And for a time, there'll be some warm spells of sunshine. More clouds spreading in from the west through the afternoon, and into western parts just towards the end of the afternoon, we'll start to see this next band of rain creeping eastwards. Temperatures getting up tomorrow to around 21 degrees, which is 70 Fahrenheit, helped by a gentle southerly breeze. And then that rain will spread eastwards Thursday night into, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, should I say, easing away on Thursday, brightening up still the risk of a shower. Friday, not cold, but it doesn't look like a good day at all, Charlotte. Dear me, Keely. I've been on early, so I'm thinking I might go home and get the heating on. Yeah, yeah. A hot water <laughs> bottle. Yeah. Living the life. <laughs> Harry and Amy back at 6.30. Bye-bye. A washout. What a disappointment, I know, and I know some people were very cross who uh, lived in western parts because it wasn't forecast uh, to get that far west, cricket and the cricket was off. very annoyed as well. They'll be pleased to know I got very soggy walking into work mm. this morning, so uh, yeah, we did get we it wrong did. today. It, it shouldn't have come that far west. Uh, we do have some nice pictures to show you um, from last night, actually, the sunset uh, last night, particularly red because we had that approaching weather system in the east, so as the sun set in the west, the light bounced off the clouds, and we get the orangey-red colours because as the light Light is split and it refracts the orangey red colors travel the furthest so we did have a lovely sunset even though we've had a wicked day you can keep the pictures coming in paul the weatherman at bbc.co.uk or you can uh, tweet me at Keely Donovan. Now, the promise of brighter skies tomorrow, certainly an improvement on today's conditions. For most of the day, dry and bright. We do have an approaching weather system later, but for the first day of the Ebor Festival, it looks like it's going to be a pleasant one. Feeling warm in the sunshine as well. But it will cloud over later in the day. Uh, this uh, weather system approaching from the west. So tomorrow, we're really in between those two weather systems, but there will be uh, some sunshine on offer. You can see all of that cloud. The cloud was forecast, but the rain made its way all the way over to the other side of the Pennine, so it's been a filthy day everywhere and it's been really cool some of the temperatures didn't even get past around 15 degrees so the rain will gradually fizzle through this evening it'll move northwards overnight and by the end of the night most places will be dry but there'll still be a lot of cloud around and that means temperatures will hold up at around 13 or 14 degrees 13 is 55 Fahrenheit so the sun will rise in the morning at 5.51, setting again at 8.28. We've got the ho those high waters coming up over the next hour along our coastline. So tomorrow morning, it might be a bit of a cloudy start first thing, but the cloud will thin and break and it will brighten up nicely. And certainly for a good portion of the day, we'll have dry conditions with some decent spells of sunshine. And with the breeze from the south, it'll feel warm in that sunshine too. Cloud will thicken from the west later and you can just see by about tea time that rain starting to edge into western parts. Now, as I mentioned, in some spots today, 15 degrees, actually it's probably the highest temperature that I've seen today. A lot of places at around 13 or 14 degrees. It will feel a lot warmer tomorrow, as you can see. 21 or 22 degrees. That rain transferring eastwards tomorrow evening will then brighten up on Thursday. One or two showers. Friday doesn't look good. A mixture of sunny spells and scattered showers for the weekend. So, you got it wrong? We got it wrong. By about, 50 it. by about 50 miles. But it was wrong, nevertheless. Okay. <laughs> That's as far as we go. We've got our update, of course, at 8 o'clock. And uh, Amy and uh, Keely will be back here at 10.30. We shall. Hey, you bye can bye. join us then. Bye-bye.
so miserable today. It's been utterly disgusting today, but the promise of brighter skies tomorrow, so an improvement certainly into tomorrow. And then later on tomorrow evening, another front. So we're in between two weather systems, really, tomorrow. We should have some dry and bright weather, at least until later on in the afternoon. It's still raining out there at the moment. Still some persistent heavy spells in the east. It'll gradually clear away northwards, leaving behind a lot of cloud towards morning, but not a cold night because of that temperatures down to 13 or 14 degrees. So tomorrow a bit of a grey, perhaps misty start in places, but it'll soon brighten up some warm spells of sunshine developing with a gentle southerly breeze. We are going to see cloud increasing from the west later, but most of this rain will stay to the west until tomorrow evening. So uh, a good deal of dry and bright weather through the day tomorrow, 21 or 22 degrees. 21 is 70 Fahrenheit. That rain will push eastwards into Thursday, leaving us with a humid, muggy day. A lot of dry weather but the risk of the odd shower. That's it from the late team here at Look North.